Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your thrill of course the Scarinder. And today we're going up against Flaming Axel, I don't know of course as Raymond. And this battle is actually a bit old because this was actually just when I was starting out actually building the RE team that I then started ladder with. Uh, so it's not a complete uh, moveset on these guys. Uh, obviously, one that's gonna, thing that's going to stand out is that Seismitoad has Sludge Wave for some reason instead of Toxic, which makes it very, very vulnerable. And uh, I need this on sparring because I wanted to fail test the team because obviously I never build teams that I will potentially say are complete. So therefore, Raymond is a great opponent to go up against because he is a person that I would definitely see as a person that is just as good as me, if not even better, because he can void me off, he can, he does the mind games, he's a really good general player, and um, luckily for me, he doesn't bring a full Ori team, he's actually have Lipod, uh, Gastrodon, Flygon, Among Us, Steelix, and Rotom, so that's actually not too bad, so I have at least the, the tier Pokemon to my advantage, though then again, the tier does not matter if your opponent knows what he want to do with his team. And I'll say Raymond did just that. Uh, I myself using, uh, like I said, really the team that I've been drafting with Seismito, Durant, uh, Scarfed, Embor, Assault with Slow King, Dragon, and uh, Mega Obama Snow, since it was actually part of the tier shift in. Uh, Mega Obama Snow, super dangerous. It's gonna be super important this match because it can wreck through my opponent's team if I play well. So, yeah, with all this, my guys, I'm just gonna go for Rock since I don't have any spinner. And hope it doesn't start off with a Pokemon that can fend that off. So with that, all this, my guys, let's go. So right from the get-go, though, he is actually gonna start with Rotom. Uh, that's not as a bad thing, but then again, uh, it's not that good either. Hopefully, though, I mean, I can survive a Hidden Power Grass with Pack Stat. He's gonna show me Hidden Power. Luckily, it looks like that's Hidden Power Ice, and that also looks like that could be. Um, or what do you call it, a Scarfed variant due to the, it's actually doing quite little damage on me. So anyway, being that it has Gastrodon, I'm actually going to decide to go for a Sludge Wave, hoping to hit something neutral, I don't want to give something to Storm Bray, I just, I can't risk that, I just, I can't. But then again, like I said there in the preview, I should have had Toxic here. I, this was probably the real, realization I had, you know, once I used that move that, you know, th this is not gonna work. Uh, Olamola, Gastrodon, perfect switch ins to, of course, Seismitoad. I can't have Sludge Wave on this. That that will never work. So, obviously, I'm not gonna say it. There's not a whole lot I can do. I know my opponent's gonna go for potentially Toxic. So, I'm gonna go to Zyxar, which is a Durant. And there's a Toxic, and we'll take that really well. And uh, yeah, this set is with Honage and Life Orb, and I actually switched that out for Choice Ban later on in the drafting. Uh, it tends to do a bit better, actually. Anyway, he's gonna go to Rotom, nothing bad about that. Uh, I think I decided to go for uh, X Sister here, and of course it's gonna be resisted, but we can't define resisted when you know it's pre pretty much close of killing opponent here. And obviously I'm not gonna stay in here, because if he's Scarfed, he shoot back Willow or Thunder Wave. Don't want to risk any of that, and uh, my opponent just gonna go for T-Bolt. Now, that's okay. That's like, I was like, okay, that's good, that's good. Alright, we can probably come back from this. So, obviously, it's not gonna, he's gonna switch out. And Among Us is a very, very safe switching for him. And I think I decided here to actually go for an Earth Power. And hoping that it would do more. Um... That, that is crap, like, Black Sludge pretty much solved that riddle for him, and obviously I'm not gonna stay in, because Giga Drain is obviously with Stab in mind, it's gonna kill me, I'm not gonna take that, so I'm gonna bring Hadar, the Scarfed um, Embor, and sadly he has four. I was like, ah, dude, no, not like this, not like this, and obviously, um, I could actually stay in just to waste the turns here, um, Having Ember Sport is a massive disadvantage here. So here comes Stilex. Simply awesome name on that thing. And obviously I'm fast asleep. I do I know I'm locked into Flare Blitz, and I think I decided to stay in, hoping for of course waking up. And wow, we're actually have some chugging here in the video. Wow. Sorry about that. Anyway, I do successfully wake up there, which is incredible. What is not that incredible is that I actually don't kill him here. 
and uh, obviously I shouldn't, but luckily my opponent goes for stealth rocks, I had to go for an EQ, I would have been so dead, so goddamn dead. So anyway, I can just, just keep going, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I got nothing here, That that's so cool. Uh, <laughs> Uh, luckily, like I, I wake up there. I've definitely debated having actually sleep talk on Ember just for that reason. So he's gonna bring flying on, and I do believe I don't feel that comfortable staying in. It could be a potential scarf, and obviously I have better options for just flying on. Much like my Slice Talk, which is fully defensive, it should be able to cope with the damage, and um, that's a lie. That that's banded damage right there, and sadly. Uh, I don't have any floaters on my team, so I am forced here to kind of sack my um, Seismoto. I don't want to risk the damage just yet on my Bomber Snow, because it's still got the Live Pop, which has the access of Sucker Punch, and it would have been bad by actually getting damage on that it, that early in the game. So anyway, I'm going to bring Grave Claw and the Stealth Rocks are up, of course, and that's not even going to help, obviously. And I'm just going to go for a Mega Evolution. Of course, my opponent is going to... Um, switch out which is fine by me like I said I was pretty forced to go for an eye shot because there was nothing really else I could do and I think my opponent saw that one and second Rotom is the better option now what makes this a bit bad is that I actually have sword stance so I could have actually taken the chance to do so actually go for an earthquake that's actually even worse I think luckily that um, I still have eye shot oh I actually switch out what the hell am I doing anyway <laughs> <laughs> I haven't literally watched this game, have I? Uh, I actually switched off the hater. Why did I do that? Uh, obviously, Stealthers is gonna take him out, though, and he's gonna go for Shadow Ball. All right, that was awful, and that, of course, is gonna be close of killing me. And uh, now he should be free to go into his life or Yeah, that was a bad switch. That was a really, really, really bad switch. Uh, anyway, he's gonna bring his life out here. And I'm scarf, so I'm hoping he doesn't go for a sucker punch here. Uh, I mean, that's my only bet, really. But you know, I had no chance. He, of course, he's gonna do it. That's the safest best he can do. And Hader is gonna fall. That's that's really bad. That, that's unfortunate. If anything, and of course, he's gonna show me life uh, life orb. So that's awesome, because that means at least that I can actually bring my Durant in here and take him out if I'm not obviously missing the the hustle. That would have been really unfortunate. Luckily, we don't face that situation. He doesn't go for a sucker punch either. I think he went for a knockoff. Uh, I'm actually two base speed faster, so I was not that worried. Um, but obviously, sucker punch would have hurt me a whole lot. Uh, but it would definitely have been worth, worth it. Anyway, Gastron is gonna come in. And um, I'm gonna, of course, switch up my moves for the Exister. And uh, this is why we have banned. Damn. Bandit would have been close to taking that Pokemon out, but you know, it is what it is, that's why we banned this guy, because it is obviously, actually still, it hurts a whole lot, I mean, defensive walls are still, like, close to going down to that Pokemon, it's just tremendous scenario, I love Duran, damn, I mean, the hustle's a big risk, but damn, is this rewarding, by God, is that rewarding, so anyway, I'm gonna bring Basil to Trigon, and, uh, I'm just gonna lock myself in Outrage, I mean, I need to force him to actually bring in Flygon, because if I bring in Flygon, then uh, hopefully he will lock himself into Outrage himself. If I try on Claw, it actually is not enough to take me out, so it has to go for an Outrage to try to take me out. And if he does that, then I can bring a Bomber Snow and Ice Shot, and I should have pretty much this game in the bag. So anyway, he of course is going to go for Outrage. Like I said, that's probably his only bet here, and um, I'm completely fine by that. Because had to bring Among Us, Among Us would have been so dead, it would not have coped with that damage, it just, it wouldn't have dealt with it at all. So anyway, Grief Claw is gonna come back, and, uh, yeah, I, I know my situation, I know that, um, um, I won't leave the matchup versus the Among Us, but I know I can hurt the Among Us quite a lot. So, we're just gonna take out the Flygon, no ramifications there, I mean, like I said, that was the situation I was going for, and, uh, luckily it did pay off. So Among Us is going to come in, his last Pokemon, I still got um, this one, Obama Snow, and my Slow King left. I actually didn't have used Slow King so far in this game, and Ice Shard is close to 50% hit, and the, now this Pokemon is definitely the area where a Psy Shock should take this Pokemon out. And um, yeah, I didn't get to use Obama Snow that much this battle, that's too bad. <laughs> 
But anyway, the last matchup, like I said, is Slow King versus the Mongoose. And Curse Pawn is, of course, the name of the Slow King. And uh, there is really nothing debating this. This is gonna end just in one way and one way only. So, yeah, I mean, I will say this though. My opponent, Raymond, obviously plays a very, very good game. I think him losing Live Part against Durant was really, really. It was bad by him because he knew just as well as me that Live Part would have been a tremendous. Uh, counter for my slow king, so him losing that was pretty pretty bad, pretty bad, and I think that was a very very decisive point of battle because that meant that I could pretty much start cycling my Pokemon and come out on top. And I think he realized that you know once that those events started to drive down, it, it all went down the hill really. Uh, though as, with that said, though I will say that Raymond's team was really nice, and I actually appreciate uh, the way he treated me in this game because it actually made me think of my feet and actually helped me see the flaws of the team that I was starting building. So, good match in general, Raymond, and I'm sure you'll get your revenge in our next game, because hacks just tend to find a way against us. Obviously, this was a <laughs> hacks-free game, which, you know, for once was real nice. Um, I usually lose to hacks against him, and he loses to hacks against me too, so um, it's just one of those games, one of those things. Uh, though we're, pretty e we're pretty even when it comes to win and losses, for obvious reasons. I, I tend to... Um, we, t we tend to actually play really, really well against one another. Um, it's, it's a treat, if anything. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching. Of course, Raymond's channel will be linked down below. So make sure to check him out. He's a tremendous Wi-Fi battler, and he has great content overall. So definitely check him out if you're even interested in Kingdom Hearts. I do believe he has a lot of that, and that's actually soon to be relevant. Uh, so yeah, with all that said, I want to thank you everybody for watching. I'm sorry that it's been such a long time coming for me actually doing an upload. I'm glad I'm able to do this again. And I see you guys tomorrow on Deadline Guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye.